Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips, and today we're going to be talking about that awkward 40 to 50 yard bunker shot that is considered one of the hardest shots in golf. We're gonna talk about a few ways that you can gain a lot of confidence and see much better results with those shots. So the reason that the 40 to 50 yard bunker shot is so tricky is because it falls in between two bunker shots that we're very familiar with. A greenside bunker shot where you can normally take a 60 degree or a 56, some high lofted club and you can hit a splash shot, hit it nice and high and landing soft. Or that 100 yard uh, bunker shot, which is basically a full swing with one of your wedges. Maybe you can knock it down a little bit, but when you get to that halfway point, the 40 to 50 yard bunker shot, it gets super awkward in the fact that normally if you were on ground, you would just hit about a half swing, 60 degree wedge, but it's much more difficult to have that low point control out of a bunker. And when your low point control is off in a bunker, you're gonna chunk the ball and you're gonna hit it five or 10 yards, you might even keep it in the bunker. So there has to be an easier way to go about it than just this awkward half swing, right? The answer is yes, you don't have to hit an awkward little half shot or you don't have to try and absolutely smack your 56 degree wedge into the dirt and see how far you can hit the ball. The answer actually comes in different club selection. Instead of resorting immediately to a sand wedge or lob wedge, let's take a look at a different part of the bag. Maybe we look into taking out a pitching wedge, nine, eight, or even seven iron. So what we're gonna wanna do is take out a pitching wedge, seven, eight, nine iron, and we're gonna hit what is basically referred to as a splash shot. You're gonna open up your body, open the club face a little bit, swing across the ball and splash it out. Now at first, this can definitely be an awkward golf shot to hit because when you look down at a nine iron and you open it up you know, on the ground like this, it's going to just feel a little bit different. But your low point control is much easier when you're hitting a very standard uh, splash shot just as you would basically the same exact mechanics as you would for a 10, 15 yard bunker shot out of a greenside bunker. We're doing everything the same except for the club selection. One thing that we have to note about this is the bounce and lie angle of your pitching 7, 8, 9 iron. Whatever that is, it's going to be dramatically different from what you're used to out of a bunker with a 56 or 60 degree wedge. Many wedges that you're used to hitting out of the bunker can lie flat once they're opened up like this, but I have a pitching wedge here and you see if this is laid flat, there's a lot of leading edge right here that you're gonna have to deal with. So we can't completely open it up like we would a 60 degree, but just make sure that leading edge is pretty, pretty tucked on the ground. And obviously another difficult part about hitting a bunker shot is you cannot ground your club. So it's going to have to be a little bit of an estimation and feel on your end. But as with any new shot or new technique in golf, it's very important to practice this before you bring it out to the golf course, especially because this shot requires confidence. You need to commit to this idea because, and especially because it's a foreign idea, we need to have practice so that we can go through with our commitment. Now I'd love to sit here and tell you that this shot is a very easy fix and you're gonna hit it to 10 feet every time, but that's simply not the case. The 40 to 50 yard bunker shot is still going to be difficult. This is just one way to make it a little bit less complex and have a similar swing and have similar technique because if you're using the same technique as a normal bunker shot, you at least have confidence in that technique. The only thing that's a little bit awkward is going to be that club that's in your hands and the way that that club interacts with the sand. Now this is just one way that we can approach this shot. You can also try and hit a little chippy six iron. Uh, obviously that's very difficult to do if you have a lip on the bunker, but there's a million different ways to approach it. You just have to be creative and knowing each different way and being familiar with each different way will help you be more, more versatile on the course and it'll give you more opportunities to have the right shot for the right time. I'd love to know how you approach these golf shots because everyone is fairly different. I personally like to take out a pitching wedge or a nine iron and hit a splash shot because I love hitting splash shots around the green, around greenside bunkers with a 60 degree wedge. So that's a very comfortable technique for me. That's usually what I turn to. But in all honesty, if I see a bunker that's 40 or 50 yards away from the green, I will do just about everything I can in my power to avoid that bunker. So 
Obviously, it's important to avoid them, but we are going to get stuck in them every now and then, and it, it, it is very important to know how to get out of them properly. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this and what you like to turn to out of the 40 or 50 yard bunker shot. I'm very curious to see your answers. I'd love to respond to some of the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating. This helps the channel a lot because it shows this video to more people who may find it also very helpful, and it helps me see what you guys are enjoying on this channel so that I can cater the type of content that we are putting out to the viewers. If you'd like to see more content like this, you can go back to our channel and look at all of our other videos. We have a bunch of other videos on all topics across golf. You can also subscribe to the channel, which will show you all of our future uploads. As always, thank you very much for watching. Play well and take care.